Okay, so real quickly, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Mavic Mini. Now, if you know anything about my drone journey in the past, I had the DJI Spark. I crashed one of them into the Columbia River Gorge and it's still out there somewhere near Ponytail Falls. And then I ended up buying another one, flew it around a bit, really liked it. But again, it was 1080p. It's kind of a beginner, more consumer and drone. And after I sold the DJI Spark, I never really got back into it because I don't really use drone footage in my videos very often and I'm not drone certified. So if I wanted to do it for any paid work, couldn't really. So whenever I need drone footage, I usually look to my friends, which I have a lot of friends actually that are not only drone certified, but also really good drone pilots. But recently I have been feeling the itch to fly drones again and just get footage just for the heck of it and maybe even pepper a little bit into my videos. And so I wanted a drone that was still under that 250 gram limit. I also did not want to spend a lot of money because again, I'm not a very good drone pilot. And so if I crashed a drone again, I didn't want it to be one that was super, super expensive. So that's where the original Mavic Mini comes in. Now, I obviously know that there are newer Mavic Minis. I think there's the Mavic Mini 2, the Mavic Mini SE, and I think the Mavic Mini 3 and 3 Pro. And then there's a the Mavic Mini 4K. So I know that there's like a lot of new iterations of this drone, but I just wanted to get the original one because I knew that it was going to give me good enough footage, 2.7K, and it was cheap. I got this drone, a controller, a bag, three batteries with a battery charger, a bunch of extra propellers and stuff like that for 200 bucks all in. Everything was 200 bucks. So if I crash this drone, it'll suck, but I'm not gonna cry over it. So the one thing that I wanted to do with the Mavic Mini was create an easier color grading workflow. Now this doesn't shoot in log. This doesn't have a 10 bit. So it's just 8 bit 2.7K Rec 709 footage that you're getting out of this Mavic Mini. And so I wanted an easier way to work with this footage alongside footage like my Panasonic GH5, which I'm using right now. So what I actually did was created a Mavic Mini to Vlog L conversion LUT. And that essentially does exactly what you would think it does. It converts the Rec 709 Mavic Mini footage that you get off this drone into a Vlog L color space. So then even though it's just 8-bit and you're not gonna be able to push it very much, you can just use your Vlog L LUTs straight on footage from this Mavic Mini, which just makes the whole color grading workflow a lot easier. So I've been using this a bunch of my Mavic Mini footage and I think that it actually looks pretty good. And so I actually put it up for sale on my website, it's five bucks. So if you just wanted an easier workflow, you shoot with Panasonic cameras already and you have a bunch of Vlog L LUTs, just use the Mavic Mini to Vlog L conversion LUT that I made and you can just slap your Vlog L LUTs straight onto your Mavic Mini footage. A couple of shooting tips that I've found help really well with footage from this little drone is protecting the highlights. So whenever you blow out footage from this Mavic Mini, it looks kind of cheap. So I always try to protect the highlights, even if that means that I'm gonna introduce noise. And inside of Premiere, what I actually do is I take some sharpness away from this footage. So this footage tends to look pretty over sharpened, especially in high detail areas. So I just take the little sharpening slider and I take it down instead of up. So it actually softens the footage a little bit. But I mean, as long as you're not using super, super long clips, you can mix this in with 4K footage and it looks great. So I don't do that too much, just ever so slightly take the sharpening down. And I think it helps a lot. So anyways, that is my experience using this little Mavic Mini here in 2024, 2025. And I think it's still a really fun drone to fly around. If you're just getting into flying drones again and you want something that's not gonna break the bank, if you crash it, it's not gonna make you cry. You can still get good footage out of it. The original Mavic Mini's rad. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that quick little video. Again, I'd like to check out the Mavic Mini to Vlog L conversion LUT. I'll have that in the description below. Thanks, bye.